What's going on, Jerome? It's another beautiful Monday, another beautiful seven-round Vikings mock draft. Now the Vikings come in with only five draft picks. Will they move up? Will they move down? Who, who really knows? Uh, are they going to look for the quarterback of the future? Yes. Yes, yes, indeedy. But uh, we're going to fire this thing up and then see what happens, and then maybe we'll trade up. Who knows? All right, so right now, Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, Will Anderson, Will Levis, uh, and Tyree Wilson. So Richardson is still in play. Richardson is still on the board. Uh, let's let a couple more picks bleed off. Jalen Carter. Do you make a move with the Raiders at seven? I feel like in a lot of our mocks, we've really gone after Richardson. So maybe we'll, we'll pass this time around to see what happens. Yeah, Richardson went to the the Raiders. Skaronsky, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so actually, hmm. Gonzo Witherspoon made it this far. Jets on the clock at 13. JSN just came off board. Uh, there goes Paris. There goes Broderick. Packers. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully they take a tight end. I was gonna say hopefully they don't take. Uh, uh, they go Darnell right? Okay. Um, yeah, I guess kicking Jenkins inside. Maybe having a plan for after Bakhtiari. Sure. Sixteen. I'm kind of tempted to come up where I I don't think that Joey Porter Jr. makes it to 23. I, I I'm pretty sure about that. So. Even though the Vikings don't have a second round pick, well, I mean, what's it going to take? All right, so we'll take a third, and then can we get some of this late round nice nice? So the Vikings would have eight picks total. Pop for trade, see what they say. Try one more time. Oh, there we go. All right, so we're on the board. Uh, so I did come up specifically for Joey Porter Jr., but just taking a look at the board, uh, Quentin Johnson is there, Kalaja Cansey. Uh, uh, Deontay Banks, Brian Branch, Brian Bruzzy, Nolan Smith, yes, Miles Murphy, yes, but yeah, I, I'm going and getting our guy, Joey Porter Jr., press man savant. I absolutely love and adore him. I think he's going to do great things uh, in the Brian Flores defense. But now we have a bit of a wait. We have 119, 150, 158, 193, 211, 215, 233. Um, but at a certain point, do we condense some of these picks? Nah. There goes Tillman. There goes Mims. There goes Zach Pickens. Darius Rush. Jalen Jones. Riley Moss. All right, on the clock. Zavala is there. McBride is there. Uh, Moro Ojomo is there. Corey Trice is there. Do we do we double dip on corner? I mean, we certainly could. Uh, Scruggs is there. Pace is there. All right, so we got 119 and 150 coming up. Got a couple trade offers. Can we turn 119 to 130, 137? And, and like 193? That seems fair-ish. And give me 205. I said no. Uh, how about, uh, all right. For that trade. Make that happen. Resume. All right, on the clock again. Zavala is there. Do we just take Zavala at this, this stage? I think we should. Or, or. All right, so let's take Zavala. I was going to say, we could get a little bit nuts. We certainly could. DTR is there chilling. Getting him at the top of the fifth, I, I think, is huge value that you can't pass up. And the Vikings, they weren't in position to draft um, one of the big four. that We didn't take Hooker at 23, so we're, we're doing the damn thing. Feeling good. All right, so now we have the, the quarterback offensive line and quarterback uh, boxes are checked. In terms of off ball, Project Martin is there. Uh, Corey Trice, man, it's so tempting just to double down on cornerback. I, I know we have Booth and Evans. I know uh, we have Byron Murphy, but also the board is the board, man. Board is the board. Let's make it happen. Like the physicality on the outside. I'm actually really in love with this draft so far. Uh, so we're at up at 158. Yes, sir. Abdullah is there. Uh, let's check out the wide receivers. BFW is there. Probably isn't going to be there when we come around uh, again at 211. Rakeem Jarrett, I like. Ronnie Bell, I like. Uh, Jake Bobo, I like. Uh, Puka, I like. Darius Davis is good. Uh, it feels like. Uh, 
Isilov has really fallen out of favor uh, as of late. Who knows? But, yeah, we're going BFW. Condor, physical freak. Kirky needs a tall receiver. All right, so three picks left. All right, so we, we've taken two cornerbacks. We haven't addressed defensive line or linebacker or edge rusher. Yes, here, uh, Abdullah is still there. Yoink. That's a no-brainer. Uh, let's see the rest of the way. I mean, Troy Brown is there. I, I do like Troy Brown, Brown a lot. Anthony Bradford is a guy that we profiled. Evan Hull is there. Um, can we find a way to, like, who, who has multiple picks left? Falcons? Because I, I, I kind of want to take multiple of these guys. Can we get all three? No. All right, offer trade. One more time. Once more. <sighs> Going down swinging. Right, whatever. Whatever, man. All right, so in this spot, I mean, Troy Brown is there. He's a stud. Yes. Uh, Bradford is there. Evan Hull is there. Potentially could get him as a UDFA. Um, I don't know. So what do we do in this spot? Mo is there. Jake Bobo is also there. I, I'm going to take the linebacker. All right, Troy Brown. Troy Brown, come on in. You're the next Minnesota Fighting Viking. One pick remaining. Can we turn it into two? We got two trade offers. Um, yeah. Can we do that? Can we do that? Well, why do, why do you want to trade up? Jerks. Texans only got one pick left. No. Uh, no. All right. We're going to stick and pick. All right. So we got the edge rusher. I want to take someone who's got some big time upside. Bobo really intrigues me as a big slot. Uh, Caleb Murphy, the pride of Ferris State, it's out there chilling. Yeah, I kind of like Jake Witt. Actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna take a dark throw on Jake Witt. I understand tackle's not really a need, but I mean, pride of Northern Michigan. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so I'm actually really happy how this turned out. We made a move up to 16, and we didn't have to mortgage the future. We got back a lot of late-round picks. We gave up uh, 87, uh, but we got, for me, the number three cornerback in this class in Joey Porter Jr. He's going to be a fantastic press man outside uh, in Flores' scheme. Plus, also, attitude-wise, I think he's just going to bring that. Like, he's not his dad per se, but he's, he plays a little bit of a chip. He plays a physicality, and I love that about him. Chandler Zavala is going to be your starting left guard within a, uh, within two years, 100%. Uh, then, uh, let's see, DTR at the top of the fifth. Yeah, didn't get the top quarterback options, uh, but I, I think DTR has enough physical tools at, where he's intriguing enough where if you can get him at the top of the third round, uh, excuse me, uh, day three, top middle day three, uh, having him as an option uh, to potentially see if he could be that guy in 2024 going forward does make sense. And then the rest of this class, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped about man. Uh, so Corey Trice, real name, no gimmicks. Uh, I, I couldn't resist doubling down on the length at cornerback. He was just way too much value in the fifth round. Bryce Ford Wheaton. Speaking of length and physicality, absolute physical freak. Condor coming down from West Virginia, um, Mountain Mama. Um, uh, Yasser Abdullah, another toolsy edge rusher. Uh, getting him in the six, I think, is huge value. Troy Brown, tackling machine, coming out of Ole Miss, uh, as well as Jake Witt. Yeah, tackle wasn't a big-time need, but small school, big-time upside, athletic, physical freak type guy. I mean, that's what we're that's what we're doing. Uh, like Day three, we're throwing uh, athletic darts, and day uh, one day, two, we got two guys that are going to be contributing right away in Porter, and I, I truly believe that Zavala is going to be in that mix. You know, whether it's competing with Ezra or competing with Ingram, uh, I think Zavala is too good uh, not to make a difference right away. But uh, that's it. Uh, seven round Vikings mock draft. I'm sure we're going to get flamed for not taking a defensive lineman. Don't care. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.